everyone. I wanted to make a video of the project I'm making. It's for my girlfriend's daughter. She's a teenager and her it's for, um, wall letters for her bedroom. And her wall is pink and her decor for her bedspread is um, the pink, the black and white cheetah and, oh I'm sorry, not the cheetah, zebra colors. And um, so I decided to do her, do letters for her. What I did was I went to AC Moore and I bought these letters, these white letters, and with a coupon that cost me $2.11 and her name was pretty long so it was really pretty cheap. And what I ended up deciding to do was I wanted to sand them. So I ended up taking the sandpaper and I sanded them down a little bit just to get a semi-rough edge from it. Um, just because it was so already semi-coated, I want to get rid of some of the paint, the edges. And so what it ended up looking like is this. And it's a little bit smoother, so it would be easier to work with. Once I did that, I took black paint and decided to paint it black. And I just freehand painted it um, all black. I painted the edges and I painted the back. Um, I didn't care too much about what the back looked like because it was going to be on the wall. And then I did the edges black and everything else. Um, just like these, this one. Is, and that's what it looks like. However, what I did find out was I originally started out buying my studio acrylic craft paint, but it took many, many, many coats for it to look good. So I changed my mind, decided to go with a different one. And what I was really looking for was the folk art. They are the best paint ever. They cover well, it takes less coats to do it, However, I couldn't find it in black. It was totally sold out. So I went with Craftsmart, which worked just as well. I ended up using, I think, three or four coats to do it, I, more four, um, to cover these letters, the sides and the front, and the back, I'm sorry. And um, it worked out pretty well. And all I do is I just put it on a little bit of, you know, paper. I use the same plate each time and I would paint it and I would freehand it. I got a really skinny brush and I'd freehand paint, paint it. And I did the darker color first before I did the lighter color just so if I mess up, I could wipe off whatever I messed up. Once that was done, I got some Mod Podge the glossy kind and bought that from once again AC Moore and also I bought this from AC Moore and it's a black and white zebra and it's by Canvas Corp, Corp. and um, that's what I used. I turned it over, took my letters, letter and you cannot trace it the right way, you must turn it upside down, trace it with a pencil or pen, then otherwise when you flip the paper over, your letters will be backwards. So make sure you flip the letter upside down, trace it, and flip the paper upside down, and once you cut it out, it will come up right side up. Once you've cut that, I took the Mod Podge, took the Mod pot with some paint, um, with a paintbrush, and I covered all the letters. And then I glued it on. And once I glued it on, I made sure the edges were sealed and everything else, and I let it dry. I like the Mod pot. I'm not too thrilled about how it comes out. It comes out great, like I did the back of this one shiny and everything else but the one thing I realized is that it sort of leaves like residue of your prints you have to be very careful with it um, and everything else but I did once I Mod Podge did 
the original letters and I put the paper on top of it. I let it sit and let it dry for a long time, a couple of hours, and then I went back again and I mod podged, took some mod podge, and I painted the, um, did the top and things like that. And once I've done that, that was all I did. Now in this one, I mod I painted the inside at black and I mod podge the inside, the outside, and everything else. Um, it's been around everywhere. Um, so I have to clean up a little bit. And what I end up seeing is it does tend, the Mod Podge tends to pick up a little bit of dirt or dust or whatever you have around. Well, that is as far as I went. I've gone so far in part one of this project. The next part is that I'm going to make some flowers, try to clean it off, and maybe find a better sealer that will not pick up so much dust and stuff like that. And, and I want to give them more of a little bit more shine and glitter. So stay tuned to part two of my experience in doing wall letters. All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye.